What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing off every single Chase figure I have in my Funko collection. But in case you've been living under a rock and have no idea what a Chase figure is, I'll let my co-host MD Shady explain to you guys what it is. What is a chase or a chase figurine? Well, a chase is a one in six chance, essentially, of getting a different variant of a figure. And this is more specific to Funko items. Of course, there are other companies that do have chase versions of some of their collectibles, but I'm solely focusing on Funko. So let's say, for example, there's a case of six pops of the same character, and that has a chase version. That means one of those six will be a chase figurine. And it is so much fun to collect chases in the wild. Of of course, some of us have to resort to buying them elsewhere from sellers or eBay, stuff like that. But it is so great, the thrill and the chase of getting a chase figure in the wild. But with that said, I'm MD Shady, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing off every single chase figure in my Funko collection, at least from what I could find. Oh yeah, I guess he's also going to be a part of this video, which makes sense since we don't need to make two separate videos of our chase collections. So let's get right to it. First, I'm going to start off with more obscure figures that aren't actually pops, and then we'll go on to the pop figures. So this is kind of a one and done figure. It is a Funko figure of Darkwing Duck and as you can see there is that weird chase sticker there. Basically the normal version is Darkwing Duck like that but this one he's black and white. And one of the newer lines from Funko with the Funko Gold also has chases. Here is the chase of Troy Palomalo as well as Russell Westbrook and the last chase I have for Funko Gold Magic Johnson. So I guess the obscure Funko product that I do have here is the mini moments of Dwight Schrute from The Office. This is specifically the chase version where the outfit he's wearing is the Utica Takeover outfit with the mustache on, which I had gotten this since I believed that at one point that there wasn't going to be the Utica Takeover pop. And as you can tell by the $20 price tag, I am selling this. And next we'll move over to the Funko sodas. Sodas are so fun to open up because you don't know whether or not you have the chase or not until you actually buy it and open the can. So that's kind of the joy about opening Funko sodas. So let's get right to seeing which chases I have. There's quite a few of them. One of my favorites here is Beetlejuice and he is in the red wedding attire. That is the difference from the common and the chase. Then we have Winnie the Pooh, and for this chase version, he's actually flocked, so he's kind of like furry material rather than just plastic. Here is the Grape Ape, and he's metallic rather than just being the normal colorway that he is. This one's pretty sweet. This is such a great Funko Soda for the Snow Miser, and this is a glitter chase. Here is Vampire Jack Skellington, and at first glance, this one's kind of hard to tell, but it is glow in the dark. Here's Sloth from the Goonies, and this is the chase version, so it is pirate sloth where he does have that pirate hat on rather than the common where he's basically missing that. Here's Aku from Samurai Jack and this chase he's basically all black with those red eyes. And going along with that one is Samurai Jack. Here's Mad Jack Samurai Jack. Here is the Batmite where he is in the alternate suit which is the black and gray rather than the blue and black. Here is Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove, more specifically the Lab Kronk, where the only difference with this one is that he's holding that potion. And here's the chase version of Spider-Man where he is in the metallic black and gold suit. This is one of my favorite Funko Soda chases ever, and it's Mojo Jojo where he's basically all black light colorway. Got the chase version of Dustin from Stranger Things. This one, he's holding the walkie-talkie and his shirt is different as well. I believe the hat might be different too. Here's the chase for Popeye where he is in the all white suit and his arms all twisted up. Here's the chase of the Joker and for this chase, he is metallic. He has like his makeup is basically wearing off and his hat is actually different from the normal Joker hat. Here's Master Chief and as you guys can see, instead of being green, he is that black metallic color. And lastly, we have Deku from My Hero Academia and this one is kind of hard to tell again, but it is glow in the dark with the hair as well as the suit. So I believe that is most of my Funko Soda chases. I might have a couple more hidden somewhere. And now showing off my Funko Soda chases. The first Funko Soda chase I have is the Black Light Queen of Hearts. That's a Funko Shop exclusive. I believe the difference of the common and the chase is that this is more of a yellowy orange color, while I believe the common one was green. So just a different colorway. The next one I have here is Edna Mode, in which the chase variant here is her smiling, while the other one is just basically more of like a angry grin face. This one is of All Might from My Hero Academia, which you can't really tell the difference between the common and the chase here because this one is actually a glow in the dark chase. This is the chase figure for Crash Bandicoot, which is all gold compared to the original orange color. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Carnage from Marvel, which the chase right here is just basically showing off that it is Cletus Cassidy by exposing the face. Next up, we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Creed Bratton from The Office, which this chase variant is of course 
course, him all bloodied up from one of the Halloween episodes. Next up, we have Marty McFly from Back to the Future, which this Chase variant has the iridescent hat, unlike the common, which is just the regular gray hat. Right here, we have the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas in black light form, which the normal version of the colorway would be, I believe, orange skin with a purple outfit. And then also, if you wanted to look at the back, because of course, he does have the two different emotions, the other side is pink. Next up, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Batman Beyond, where it has more of a tint of red on each of the side, plus it is glow in the dark. Then I have right here, Dustin from Stranger Things, which of course has the Hellfire t-shirt and the walkie-talkie to the side of his face for the chase, which I believe MD Shady did show off. Next up, we have ourselves Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms, in which the regular version has the heart-shaped marshmallow with the spoon. This chase here has a bowl of cereal with the spoon. Then we have the New York Comic-Con exclusive John Stewart from DC Comics, more specifically Green Lantern, which the chase figure has the little thing that's coming out of his ring, plus the lantern on the side and it's glow in the dark. Right here we have the WonderCon exclusive Miguel Chase which of course is when he's in the land of the dead instead of the regular version which is just normal Miguel himself. And the last soda chase I have is Envy Adams from Scott Pilgrim vs the World which this version obviously has the gray jacket with black shoes while the common one has white outfit with red shoes. And this is actually pretty expensive. It's close to $200. And it is a soda in my collection that I am trying to sell. So any Canadians out there that want to buy this soda, hit me up on Instagram at MDKGlex. But let's move on to the pops that I have chases for. I actually have two of the chase of Vince McMahon where he is wearing the salmon color blazer instead of the classic blue, as you can see in the pop design right there. And uh, one of these I actually got from Top Pops. And then I have the glow in the dark chase version of the Ronald McDonald, the Thailand exclusive, where as you guys can see, the chase sticker is a little different because it is a glow in the dark chase. I have the chase version of Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, where as you guys can see, he's looking uh, pretty sick with this pop figure. Here's another glow chase with the glowing Mr. Burns, uh, where both the common and the chase do glow, but this one's like a translucent color rather than being uh, like the normal plastic that you kind of see there. Keeping it going with the glow chases, I have the glow chase for Naomi from WWE. I also have the chase of Jim Halpert from The Office where he has book on his face there for the Facebook costume. And I also got this from Tristan over at Top Pops. And the chase version of Angela from Gargoyles. And the difference with this one is that she's actually stone rather than, uh, I don't know exactly what the word for it is, but basically when they're alive and not stone. Here's the first chase I ever had in my collection. It is of Kira and Fizzgig from The Dark Crystal. And the only difference with this is that the like buddy of Fizzgig has his mouth closed. I don't know if we've ever seen another Funko chase like this where it's just the buddy rather than the pop itself that is the chase. Here's the chase version of the Demogorgon from Stranger Things where as you guys can see, the face is closed rather than being open. Here's the chase of Dart from Stranger Things, and it's the exact same thing as the Demogorgon. His face is closed rather than being open. And here's Eleven from Stranger Things, so the chase for this is that she is wearing that blonde wig. And lastly, one of my favorites in my collection is the chase version of Alexander Ovechkin. So the pop itself, there's no difference, but as you guys can see right there, there's a Stanley Cup. So basically that's what the chase is for the hockey pops. And I do have the Wayne Gretzky as well, but I can't find it. And then last but not at least I will show off the Funko Pop chases that I have in my collection. Starting off with the Teddy Rick chase from Rick and Morty, which the chase variant here is that it's all bloodied and battered up. Then we have Mr. Meeseeks from Rick and Morty, which the chase figure is that he is super angry with a weapon in his hand, unlike the normal one where he's all happy, just as you see in the pop art form. Another one I'm actually trying to sell, but I don't have a sticker on it with the price, is the glow in the dark chase for Dark Phoenix for X-Men, in which the glow is really nice on this. Basically the hair, the outfit, and the flamed wings in the background, if you can see there without the glare that you can see in the background of my computer screen, also glows in the dark and it's a really nice glow if you haven't seen it. Then right here is the fully holified Ichigo from Bleach, which is a glow in the dark chase. I believe it is the mask that just glows in the dark. And the last chase that I am trying to sell is the winged monkey from the newer Wizard of Oz lineup, which is a metallic chase. The next pop chase I have is Crash Bandicoot, which is a black and white variant. I have it more on a sideways view for this box instead of straight on so that you guys don't get the glare from my computer. 
Peter all that much. And as you guys may know, I am a fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team in the NHL. And so for the entire lineup, there are two chases and I have both of them. Starting off with the Sidney Crosby chase, which of course the chase is the fact, and I don't know if you could see it. Oh, it's behind the sticker. That's why you can't see it, is that it does have the Stanley Cup. And the other chase figure is Mario Lemieux, also from the Pittsburgh Penguins, which just like Sidney Crosby, the chase figure does have the Stanley Cup trophy. And lastly, I will show off the chases for the office pops that I got, which I got the majority of the set. So here we go. We have the book face gym, which I know that MD Shady had shown off. Then right here is the Chow's collectibles, Dwight Schrute in the basketball outfit, where the chase version has him without the shirt on. And of course, here is the more common version where he does have the shirt with the basketball to the side. And then the other chase is right here with the specialty series exclusive Creed Bratton, where here's what the common looks like. And this is what the chase looks like, where he is all bloody from the one Halloween episode of The Office, like I mentioned with the chase version of the Creed Bratton soda. But anyways, guys, that's all the time for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and let me know what chases do you have in your collection. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But I'm out of here. Peace in, peace out.